Calgary's arena deal is Edmonton's issue too, but will whoever becomes premier be tied to the deal and will it shape the upcoming provincial election? Because we know that we don't know um, uh, all the elements to the, to the deal and, and, and where the cost might fall. Um, I'm not in a position to say yay or nay, and I don't even want to say that with respect to what we do see. As opposition NDP leader Rachel Notley and her party gear up for the election season ahead, eyes across the province are on Calgary's arena deal and the cost to provincial taxpayers. Notley telling media Thursday her and the party haven't seen the arena agreement yet. Speaking to media Wednesday, Premier Danielle Smith said Edmonton could see some provincial money for what she called phase two of the city's ice district. Calgary's arena may cost provincial taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars, but don't expect Calgary's new arena to become a wedge issue this May. Healthcare at affordability uh, and leadership, um, and competence, uh, vision, uh, stability, those kinds of things are, are I think, much more important uh, to, to Albertans. Adding that while most Albertans could get behind infrastructure spending regardless of who wins May 29th, bigger questions remain around how much of a share taxpayers should shoulder. Even though there are a lot of questions, I, I don't know that, um, that, that the NDP would have a hard time supporting something that's going to contribute to the revitalization of part of downtown that could be quite consistent with what they've talked about. Reporting from Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.